click over to YouTube really quick and let's take a look. Okay, tell me about your YouTube channel. So I started it uh, um, probably 2000, well, I might even say here, but I started it just with the intention of creating a small video to send out once a month in a, in a, in a newsletter of sorts to all of mm -hmm. the clients who have signed up for my list. So my list, maybe it's about 4,000 people, send them a book review, send them a conversation or an interview with somebody. Um, and the topics were related to wellness, career, and service. Those are the three categories that Whole You covers. So this okay. one is about meditation. This one is about, you know, workplace style. This is just a feature on Kitar Bear, a local musician. This is about spirituality. So they're just um, a variety. But what I found was creating this content was extremely time consuming, but it wasn't revenue generating. So when you're saying 30 second video versus many, many hours to write scripts and plan. Mm -hmm. and, and, and this one was filmed in Los Angeles. So it was like very, very time consuming for not a lot of return and, and not even a lot of viewership because I'm not, you know, uh, circulating yeah. that far and wide. So um, I, I don't know whether I should just pivot to do these shorter videos. I, I mean, the way that attention spans are going, it seems like that's where everything is. I will say this though, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna actually, if you don't mind, I'm gonna share my screen and look up your channel. Yeah, please. Really quick. Let's see, that's not you. There's another whole you. Go back. Oh, trademark infringement. <laughs> mm-hmm. They're the whole you. Let's see. Channel. There you are. Okay. Or share my screen. it's working properly let's see one sec there we go okay are you seeing your channel yes okay so you've got your i love that you have your welcome video right that's wonderful you also made sure that you have the link showing up which is really important. People don't realize that in the description, they can have hyperlinks that actually go back to their pages. So it's good that it shows up. This is for someone who has not subscribed yet. So they'll be seeing this, which is great. Okay, great. Um, now, first thing I would say in looking at this is you have, when I click on videos, like you were showing me, you have videos from years and years ago and their interviews and so on. And then some tips, some fun pop culture stuff. So right away, I see an opportunity where you can actually create sections. So you have up to 12 sections on your home page for your channel. And right now it's just everything's lumped into popular uploads. So it's going to show the ones that you got the most views on. But really what you want to do is I would have career interviews. I would break it out by the different disciplines you're offering, right? Uh, uh, yep. Yep. So you, that's where all you have to do is just put them when you're editing them, you put them into a playlist and then you can create a section and you can say, just show this playlist. Okay. One video could be on 20 playlists if you wanted it to be, gotcha. but that way it makes it a little bit more organized for people. Right. Yeah. So, easy yep. And the other thing that people don't realize. So if I go to playlists, you've got all videos, whole you videos loop, and then holistic development program book reviews. So let's just click on this one. That's, that not that <laughs> That's not you. He follows me everywhere. So one thing to look at is, and what people don't realize is your playlist too. I haven't even gotten to the video yet, but you can optimize your playlists. So the title of your playlist has SEO value. There's a description on your playlist that has SEO value. You can basically write a mini blog post just for this playlist. Wow. You, you can speak to all the videos on here. Four ways to maintain a positive mind, boost your energy to work better. Great. Hey, here are the things that we talk about. Here's a quick tip from video two, video three, video four. So you can have all of that. It would sit right here because YouTube is a search engine. So it's not only going to look at an object of a video, it's gonna look at the group of objects like it would you know, a category of products. 
So having a playlist description would also make sense here. Okay. So I'd, I would do that. Now I'm going to just jump into one. Let's do four ways to maintain a positive mind. Okay. So this is back in 2015. Mm -hmm. Now you have a description, right? Your description gives you 5,000 characters. So I, whenever you're doing these videos, what to do, since it took you so much time already to make the videos, yeah. you already have the content. It's a matter of just prettying it up. So we've got to add basically a blog post for each of these videos. Mm -hmm. So I want you to go back and think about, okay, how can I incorporate the four ways to maintain a positive mind? Uh, what's the success story I've had? How can I link, you know, someone that was in my five week class? This is what happened when they maintained a positive mind. Hey, to get started with a class link. Mm -hmm. Next thing, next thing. So I would love to see you maximize those 5,000 characters. Gotcha. Try to hit that, try to, try to get it so that YouTube says you can't write anymore. <laughs> yeah. Because now you've got the video content, which YouTube knows what it is by the title. Now it knows it by the description. It also knows it because you have, it, it basically automatically subtitles your video. It transcribes your video automatically. So you, fortunately you speak very slow and steady. I speak very excitedly. So YouTube screws up my stuff. So I have to go up and edit it myself and transcribe it. Yeah. But for you, YouTube's going to know what you said. It transcribes it. It adds that to the video as well. Okay. So you got title, description, subtitles. And the fourth one. Do I have to turn that on? Do I have to turn the subtitles on or just the viewer? It automatically okay. does it. Okay. It automatically does it. Now, as kind of a a bonus, or if you want to, again, if we're thinking about it, like an arcade game, more points, you could go use a subtitle tool. There, there are tools that transcribe for you where you can load your video in, and then it will transcribe the video for you and you upload the subtitle file. Wow. That's something where yeah. you're feeding the content to Google, but yeah, your question right here, I would just click on this and now it's selected, especially with ADA. So people can read the subtitles. Okay. So that's up to the viewer to turn on or off. Correct. Correct. Yeah. It's not going to auto do it. Yep. Okay. Now, one thing that I'm noticing is I can see because I have special magic program. I see I that. Can, yeah. I can see the tags that you use yeah. with tags. They're keywords. You have up to 500 characters worth of tags, 500 characters worth of keywords. Mm -hmm. So you've got Louise Hay, positive mindset, power of positive thinking. All good. That's fine but you still have all that extra room. Mm. So for you, where you're trying to develop the personal brand, the whole you brand, your brand, I would have tags that have your name, that have whole you in them, that yeah. have career development. So some of your kind of standby tags that you would use in other things, or you use throughout your website, have those, and you can pop those into your videos. So go back and paste those in. That's going to be a big help and help you show up when, you know, someone might be searching for positive mindset, but they also might be searching for how to stay positive. Yeah. Or, feel or better. tips to stay positive or yeah, yeah, tips to feel better. So there are different ways to skin a cat. You want to hit all of those different ways because people are searching differently on YouTube. Right. Wow. 